Welcome to another video about growing Mativo. This is I Simulate from Foxly. If this is your first time watching my channel, I explore different simulation games and share gameplay videos of those I like. Subscribe to my channel if you're also a simulation game lover. It's not Foxly's nature to turn away someone in need. The settlement takes Rob in and prepares for another raid. I think it's smart to have one more archer. Checking the marksman skill of our settlers, the patcher is selected to be our next marksman. Let's get someone to make her a short bow. Good that our research has unlocked weaponry earlier and we have the bowers table ready. And here they come, deadly serious to take Rob back. Nope, is our answer. Everyone gets into position, the three archers naturally stand guard on the defense tower. Our three melees, just like before, wait for their chance at the tower entrance. Our archers eliminate four enemies, greatly reduce the burden of our melees, who only need to deal with one guy. Great! Foxley has another victory and nobody is injured. I don't like the bodies lying around, so I build a pyre and let the flames do the cleansing. Now the raid is over, we should get back to work. At the moment, we have a spare room which has some beds and a research table in it. We now put a wall between these two areas. That gives us a shared bedroom which rewards a small positive mood modifier to our settlers. Building two wall bookshelves in the other room makes it a library. Immediately, the production speed of our basic research table increases to 132%. Foxley is flourishing and more influential in the region. With that comes unwanted attention. Our defenses need further improvement. My idea is to dig a trench around our settlement. And then, on the other side of the trench, opposite the first defense tower, I build a second tower which is only accessible from within the settlement through the trench. After that, I build a bridge across the trench which will be the only route the enemies can approach. When they do that, they will realize they have stepped into a trap and become the targets of our arches on top of the two towers. Of course, a raid has to hit before we have the defenses ready. This raid effectively exposes the weakness of our existing defense. When there are more enemies, more will survive the first wave of attack from the arches. After that, the archers basically become redundant. What's worse is that the melees of Foxley are not strong. Added to that is I made a mistake and placed Edward at the wrong position. I meant to put him in the defense tower. The result is that Edward has to fight until he's unconscious. But thanks to the god he has been praying to, the attacker retreats at this point and Foxley manages to have a narrow victory. Okay, let's see how things look after the second defense tower is completed. Honestly, at this point, I am looking forward to a raid. This time, Quino, who is a skilled marksman, is joining us. She will be a good addition to Foxley. There are seven enemies this time. On our side, we are four archers and three melees. I place two arches on top of each defense tower. The melees will again stand by at the tower entrance. Even though the first line of defense, Tapetia and Gerard, cannot take down all bandits, those crossing the bridge immediately step onto traps and become the targets of the other two arches. I pull Tapetia and Gerard back because there are two archer bandits. Now the two of them should hopefully be better sheltered. Another good thing about this battle formation is that when the melees are fighting, the archers on the second defense tower can assist. This is a clear victory. Nobody is hurt. While victories cheer our settlers up, the bodies lying around haunts them, negatively impact their mood. Watch has even become disillusioned because I always assign him to bring the bodies to the pyre. Therefore, I decide to build four pyres so that the bodies can be consumed more quickly. In the game, it is already autumn. There are still a lot to do before winter arrives. Those I will cover in the next episode. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video as well as the game. 
stay tuned and enjoy going medieval. See you next time. Take care.